Am I supposed to shake it? Am I supposed to turn it? What do I do? I'm supposed to ask an adult. If you don't know what to do, ask, ask an, an adult. adult. We are in Aizu Wakamatsu at a very old sake brewery and today we are going to teach you about sake. Now let's go learn about sake so that we can uh, teach everyone else about sake because I don't know what I'm doing. Do it, Why do you always do this to me? Why do you always have to do this to me? まず新庄猪木と申します。で、フルーティーなフルーツ So I think we've learned some things. We're not masters by any means. Mm. The most important thing that you need to know when it comes to sake is that there are two main ingredients that contribute to the flavor. There's a kind of water mm -hmm. and there's a kind of rice. Water, like spring water, mm -hmm. is very, very regional. So now that we're in Aizu Wakamatsu, the sake that's being made at this place will have a particular flavor based on the water being used. Mm -hmm. So water is critically important. When it comes to rice as well, right. I feel like in North America, we think like rice is just rice. Like, you just uh -huh. think all white rice is the same, but that's kind of like, think about like, Grapes, like mm -hmm. you could have different kinds of grapes for different kinds of wines. Yep. You could have different kinds of rice for different kinds of sake. In fact, they use sake rice. Yes. I didn't even know there was sake rice. Right. I thought it was just like normal rice. I know. The second critical thing that we learned was rice polishing. Mm. I had never known about this at all. You got a kernel of rice. The outside of it has proteins and fats and mm -hmm. different kinds of flavors. Mm -hmm. And on the inside, there's a little nubble of starchy goodness. Yes. So when it comes to making sake, the most basic amount of rice that you can mill away is 70%. 70%. If you leave more than 70% of the kernel on, then it pretty much becomes undrinkable, yeah, it's like just yeah. not good. So the minimum has to be 70%. If you keep going, if you keep milling away the outside of the rice, you're getting closer and closer to that little starchy nub on the inside. Right. In which case you have different kinds of sakis that are like 35%. That's mm -hmm. all that's left of that piece of rice. Mm -hmm. But it's really hard to do. Yes. That means you have to use more rice to make the sake, which means it's gonna cost more money because in order to make the same bottle, you have to use tons more rice. And at the same time, the more that you strip away the rice, the more flavors you lose from it. And some people want to have just like a pure clean taste of sake mm -hmm. and that's fine but some people like the complexities of other things on there so having a bigger percentage of polishing doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better it's all based on your preference yes i have a really good uh, example for that okay let's talk about ice cream yes okay if you love chocolate ice cream but i like rocky road mm -hmm. it's chocolate ice cream with marshmallows and nuts in it does it mean that because i like rocky road i'm wrong like pure chocolate no. is the best no, it comes down to preference. Yeah. Some people want a clean, delicious taste of chocolate. Mm -hmm. And other people want to put sprinkles and whipped cream on top and mm -hmm. taste different flavors. Some people like Super Kid, which is just a disgusting Super ice Kid's cream. Super Kid's amazing, how Who can you even say eats that? that? これは大事なことは大事なことは飲んでもらうことです。いろんなタイプ、酒には違ったディファレントタイプがいっぱいありますから、その違うタイプの酒を少しずつ味わってもらう。あの、内容からいけばワインがシャンパンからブランデーがあるようにso we're starting with the Junmai sake first. Okay, so this so, is the base sake. So that's the base sake right okay. here. So this right here is a thousand yen, which is roughly ten dollars. Mm -hmm. This here is one thousand five hundred yen, which is roughly fifteen dollars. And this, if they were to go down to the same size, is roughly fifty-five hundred yen, which is like fifty-five dollars. Yeah. So very expensive to the cheap. Yeah. So he recommended we try this one first. Yeah. And then we compare it to this one to see the different flavors. All right. Let's do it. Look go. at these little tiny cups. You call this a cup? What is this? A cup for ants? Good. Whoa, it's tasting. It's not 
Girl, we go big or go home. That's how we do. Hell yeah, we got a long ride back. よくあることはですね、お酒を飲み始めた人の知識の中で、アルコールをちょっと添加するお酒とノンアルコール、いわゆる純米酒という酒に分かれます。その時に純米酒が最高でアルコール添加しただけはダメだというところに大きな間違いがある大吟醸とか高い香りを売り物にしてるお酒はほとんどがアルコールをちょっと入れるからアルコールを入れることが悪者だっていう印象はどっかで知識の中で与えてしまうと非常にこれが日本酒独特のブレンドの技術ですから。Now, what we learned today, you're supposed to just spin it once. Spin it once. You don't go crazy because you'll ruin the, the smell. So you just do it like. Okay,、one. that's enough. Huh. That was two spins. So that one has like a creamier taste、mm, than the other sakis that I know. Like the sakis、nice. that we had yesterday.、Mm. Right. At the very end, you taste a little bit of alcohol flavor. Right. It does do, have do an you know alcohol I mean? aftertaste、like、after to it. Like an aftertaste to、yeah. it. So now we're going to go for the big boy and we're going to see if there's a difference here. So this right here is the Dai Ginjo. If there's anything you can learn from today's video,、mm-hmm. is if you're going on a date, order the Dai Ginjo. It is the best quality. You will sound very impressive and like you know what you're talking about. And Dai Ginjo does not mean the name. Of the sake,、right. it means the level of sake, and that、mm-hmm. is right over here on the corner.、Right. That kanji actually means big, and so this can be on many different brands of sake. Oh, God. Girl, this is expensive stuff. I'm going right to the brim. Wow.、Mm. It's creamy. You feel it、like、going over your tongue. It's like the difference between having skim milk. And cream. There is no alcohol y aftertaste of this. No a l c o h o l i aftertaste at all.、No. Uh, so, this is, I think, what they meant when they were saying that as you take away the outside of the kernel and、mm-hmm. you're getting more and more into the starchy bit,、yeah. everyone describes a more expensive sake as clean. I, hear I would that a definitely、lot. say that this is clean. Let's go back to this one now. Okay.、Right、you can feel like when you're drinking this one, it's heavier on your tongue. It also has like a lot of flavors in it, but none of them have that alcoholic bite in the back. Or- okay, go back to the June Mai. Okay,、now. so this is the expensive one still.、Right. Okay. Woo! Oh my god, it's so different. I know. So, what we were told the、wow. best way to find the sake that's good for you is you should go with expensive bottles first and then work your way down so you know what you don't like.、Mm-hmm. Because if you start with like、uh, an okay sake, you're like, it's all right. But when you get to the really good sake,、yeah. It's very difficult to go back. But if you're trying to be a fancy pants, ask for the Dai Ginjo. Dai Ginjo. Dai Ginjo. And if they don't have Dai Ginjo, flip the table and leave because that is a sham establishment. The most important thing is that the most i m p o r t a n ライトタイプの軽いあの食べ物の場合はそういう香りのある銀醸酒のような冷たいのんで。So this one right here is somewhere in between the two of them. It's ginjo. It's not dai ginjo for. This is June, right? But、Middle、this is、one? June mai ginjo. So、okay. we're gonna try this one and see how we like it compared to the dai ginjo. The color is actually a bit different than the rest no, of them. A little bit looks, on the yellower, right? It does, yeah. It smells alcoholic. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's much sweeter. It's sweeter than that one. It doesn't have an alcoholic aftertaste. It、though. has a slight one, though. Not as much this as one this one. This one has absolutely none, none、yeah. whatsoever. Wow. This is almost just like delicious water. Yeah, well. <laughs> this tastes like alcohol. You know yep, you you're, know you're drinking, drinking this for a purpose. You're trying to forget、Straight、whatever happened that day. It's the same part. <laughs> But this right here, you could enjoy a lot.、Mm. But this one, the Ginjo, it's, it's got a bit of a bite to it. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. I think one of the things that we're struggling with is that we don't、mm. quite know how to describe flavors yet.、Mm-hmm. Like when I taste a lot of them, when you You're not sure if it's like citrusy or、yeah. melon that you're tasting, but、mm-hmm. I do know that this one is very alcoholy,、mm-hmm. and these two taste totally different than、mm-hmm. them. This is definitely fruitier. Here's the other cool thing we learned about sake there's basically a scale of sweet versus dry.、Mm-hmm. You can even go one notch above dry, and you can have super dry! Some labels on the back of sake bottles will tell you left side is sweet. Right side is super dry.、Mm-hmm. So, this right here, the Daigen Jo one we have is super dry. The one right here that we had is kind of dry. And the one that we had right here is in between sweet and dry. So, none of these are really sweet sake.、Mm-hmm. So, if you're ordering something you don't know what to get, you at least can say, Well, I don't want something sweet. And then the person can bring you something that isn't too sweet. And now we're going to do the super vintage one. Yeah. The super old one, I mean. Don't pour a lot of that because I'm sure they don't want to. That. 
<laughs> Tell me not to pour the expense you think I'm doing here. Do you know how many beeps I have to beep out, Simon? Come on, you're making my life hell. I didn't okay. ask for this bottle. They brought it. I'm not going to be rude and say no. Okay. Right? This is 1989. Oh, this gosh. is such an old bottle that they just had to tape on their own label. Um, I'm scared. You pour it. No, okay. you're clumsy. No, I'm clumsy. Take it. Girl, <sighs> stop wasting my time. Time for their special bottle that they brought out. Oh, wow. Oh that's my brown. God, it's aged. Okay, I want the big one that I poured. This is crazy. Look at the color on that. This so right here different. is 28 year old sake. <sighs> oh. Oh, it smells completely, it's almost like a brandy. Yeah, it smells, I'd say like honey. a brandy. It's right? very honey, almost like a burnt sugar smell to mm. it. It almost has like a brown rice taste to it. It does, you're yeah. right. You it's, know, it's almost savory. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Mm -hmm. When you have a really nutty whole wheat bread mm. and when you eat it, it has that creamy bread, but yeah. like the nuttiness of the actual pieces of multigrain in it, it kind of has that feeling to it. That's a totally different taste for sake, but it doesn't have an alcohol -y taste to it. No, no. there's no, like the first one that we had had a strong alcohol bite. This does not have an alcohol bite mm -hmm. to it at all. Mm -hmm. It's not like when you drink a brandy and when you drink it down, you're like, Bleh! like mm -hmm. it's nothing that's that kind of strong. Can we get like a sippy cup to go bottle for the ride back home? It's gonna be a long ride. Mm. Wow. That is significantly more complex tasting mm -hmm. than this. Well, I とにかく一番嬉しいのは日本に来て飲んでください。しかし私たちも今に私も20年前からアメリカに行ったりいろんな国行ってお酒を売って歩いてます。であのいろんなタイプの酒を飲んでもらって今広がって底辺が広がっていることは事実ですけどもあのまだまだワインと比較されてしまうあのやりたいのは日本酒を飲んだお客さんに今まで日本人の女の子なんかよく「わワインみたい」って言われるのを私の目標はあのワイン飲んだ時「わ日本酒みたい」と言わせたいですって。If you guys want to learn more about sake, make sure you click the link over to our blog post where we will do a little bit of a breakdown for you to understand the differences between these different kinds as Simon keeps going. Also, if you want to come on a tour of this sake brewery, you absolutely can. Over on our website, we're going to give you instructions and directions on how to get here. It's just a lovely experience. The building is so old. Also, if you come here for a tour, the tour is actually free and they have a little tiny room for sake tasting for free as well, which may not be free if Simon keeps going and uh, finishes off all the sake. Hey. This is the good stuff right here. <laughs> if you learn anything from this video, blah, 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 Daigin Joe. I'm kind of worried about this video because it started off like really like noble and profound with like that great interview from a guy who knows this stuff. And here I am just like, oh, Well, I guess you've learned something. Have I? Yes. What have I learned here? That we're going to have to buy some Daigin Joe when we go home. Daigin Joe me the way. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even get even. <laughs> <laughs>